Air's Top Friends sound check tonight on two very different guitars. I, I tried to pick two guitars so different that the only thing unique about them is that they both, I guess, fall into this category of Island of Misfit Toys, which you may recall, if you're from the U.S. anyway, the Christmas Carol, the Christmas uh, animation program where those toys that aren't ideal or don't appeal to the masses, they get sent by Santa and his elves out to this place called the Island of Misfit Toys. In any case, if that were a real place, you might find this little, what's been known as the Blind Les Paul out there, but I happen to really like it. It's a carved top, arched top, so it still belongs in this group, and it's got this cool carved in bridge and saddle on top, which is uh, has a piezo pickup below it, hence the electronics. Treble, bass, master volume, control. And it's really quite unique. Acoustically, without the amplification, you're not going to get very far in any clubs. But you give it a little juice and it comes to life. Kind of reminds me of an ovation of the 70s. No bass. No treble. All bass. Kind of interesting it's got a great little 60s neck on it not the later 60s but early so it's still pretty thick not a chunky bat like a 50s but uh, it's in terms of playability it's much much like an electric so you can do your soloing and your blues without much hesitation except if you have acoustic strings on it it makes it a little bit more difficult to articulate. And the sustain on it is fantastic also. So while it may be uh, Island of Misfit Toys material, actually it's not so bad. And I hope Chuck enjoys it. It's actually been sold and uh, he's a Les Paul freak so he's gonna love it I'm sure. So let me sample now resident number two from the island. And it's the uh, Cyclops Eddie or Cyclops Epi. I showed this the other day, the heavily modified 1937 Epiphone Emperor. It took a little bit of heat for it, although I wasn't responsible for it, but you know, you always get those guys out there. What you doing cutting up that arch top, boy? But as I said, it wasn't me. Uh, but since it's been done, I thought I'd do my best to love it, appreciate it, kind of treat it well. I put a 63 PAF in it, so it sounds pretty sweet. And the luthier, you know, maybe it wasn't the uh, conservative approach. Oh, sorry. But he did a fantastic job. You can't tell that it's been basically cut in half. And he put a really interesting soundboard, uh, sorry, uh, it's kind of a half center block underneath that's suspended from the top from the soundboard about an inch thick and four inches wide and it really adds to the sustain and the tone. So I think it's quite pleasant certainly to play that epi neck from the 30s and 40s, much like a modern Gibson. They weren't the big one and three quarter nuts like our older Gibson buddies were. <laughs> Thank you.
half certainly helps. Not a lot sounds bad with the nice pickup in it. But the sustain on this thing. I wish my other arch tops sustained like this little guy. Island, the uh, 2004 custom shop Gibson Les Paul Electroacoustic, and this little rescue project 37 Epi Cyclone Eddie. Thanks and enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>